We're going to see a very long, very, very long set right here. That's what's going to happen. He's just deciding who he wants to play. Roy Bayo. Okay. Now, Maddie G is Bayo. Kool-Aid is Roy. Okay, so Maddie G's Bayo is actually solid, so we can't sleep on that. I don't think I've ever seen Kool-Aid play Roy before. Can so, he change tag? Okay. I, I didn't think he changed tag for a second. All right. Let's see this. So right now, the, the, this is this is a pause. A pause for a reset controller, I believe. And everybody being gentlemen's about it. Counting it back down, and we're right back into it. Okay, so I'm going to take 7% and 6%, so it's still even. Both yeah. players uh, only take, like, one hit to start there. They're like, no, nah, no one died. And this Bam. might be a stock oh off my the top. goodness. Yep. Chavo, Chavo shout out takes to some notes. Let's <laughs> see how this comes out. Yeah, but like I said, Matty G's been at it. no sauce whatsoever. Just kind of messing with right to you over on the side there, never letting you get that. Oh my goodness. Back. They are comboing. They're just taking Pug for a ride. Yeah, Pug finally getting back down. Only taking 48% then... luckily in the midst of all of it. But... Then again, he Good. did lose his stock really early off the top there. Right, G, he's like, kind of standing still. Didn't really know what to, like, what to go in on there. Good thing Bowser Jr.'s recovery is because he just got stage fight into oblivion. Like we, yeah, like we said before, you know, Raichi hasn't really gotten a lot of text, but he has been able to survive off his extended jump ability. I don't know if he just hit that balloon just for the hell of it. So I he think could, he did. That was pretty I'm good. I'm gonna go off the assumption that they did. That was a very good way to stay alive is to use the balloon, the only legal stage hazard to your advantage. Get it to falling up air, gets the pressure off button, oh. takes out his teammate in the process. And that up is gonna oh. take out that stock. Man. Goodness. We're in a five to three situation with Matty G just not looking like he plans on dying anytime soon. Even though he's at 108, his defense has been immaculate for the most part. My goodness. Oh, spike him. Yep, there gets we go. the stage spike and seals that out. I don't think he was prepared for it actually to hit against the stage. I think he might have thought he was going to go to the left. It's got the hitbox. I don't know. I think wherever it was supposed to do. Bayo well, just lost the stock when yeah. we were talking. Matty G deciding that he wants to even this game back up by just giving away a stock. And now all of a sudden it's looking impossible for Green Team because of that. Now this is a very bad situation oh, for Kool-Aid. Roy is in a very... Yep. Yeah, Roy can't not play against back. the other Fire Emblem characters very well. Yep, except they, for maybe Ike. But even then. Yeah, and uh, Kool-Aid was... And then the hammer taking out Matty G. Okay, so... So Matty G, I had just said at the beginning, was refusing to die. And then in a span of about 35 seconds, decided that he didn't want to play anymore. He <laughs> just deleted himself off the screen. And now we're in a 3-1 situation. And we're... Wow, he's not dead. All right, Kool-Aid trying to... Like, I mean, Roy with Rage is frightening, but he is behind 3-1 to, three to one right now. He does need to seal out as many stocks as He needs possible. to kill... His best solution is kill Bowser. His best solution is letting Right G shoot his partner. Just let them kill themselves. It's it's common here. Okay, so we're gonna put that we're, we're gonna put, put that game in our back pockets. Yeah. Why is he not here? Uh, he, went, that he went back there. Give me that okay, so now we have the ability to do we have the ability to this. Haha, -ha, sit down. I don't need to keep it. And now I'm going to give him back his mouse. Drizzen realizing that I grabbed the mouse so I could be able to trade these things. He's like, no, mine. Uh, that was Pug right, right, West right. and Reggie. No. Mostly because no, not if you watch the because Betty G decided to delete himself. So we're gonna run it back. Only this time we're gonna see the cloud in the bail playing a little bit more serious this time. It looks like they're trying to maybe seal it out prior to reset. Wants to end this now. <laughs> if Right G and Pug just play as composed as they have throughout most of the tournament, I can definitely see the reset happening. Like well, I, I'm not gonna write them off whatsoever. Because I just just keep realizing that Maddie G never like sticks with the same character. No, Maddie G is one of those people who can play like the cast and play the cast as well. But so is Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid's just like I'll stick to the cloud because I actually want to win. Yeah, I think that I think they decided to go for it this time around. Uh, I you don't know, know what, what I know what he was doing. I know what he was doing. Witch twist uh, has a set knockback oh. that yeah. goes in. Okay. So I he, think he was he wasn't waiting for facing Mike G to go in. Raw forward smash. Hit almost taking out Pug. The fantastic down air. Yeah, Not killing scooping. off the side, but it still ended up killing. And Pug's defense has just been immaculate right now, just uh, not letting either one of them land. 
and keeping this match even not all of a sudden going up five to four. Oh, so even with the switch to Cloud, this is still looking pretty good for Green Team for the most part. They're, keep, they're still going toe to toe with uh, Team DLC right now. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. I like it. I don't think I had ever. Out of all the times that I've counted today, I've never once heard that. What? Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. That's fit. That's great. I'm trying to get a team follow up out of that. Uh, I got down from a little oh. bit too early. Comboing his partner for a little. Oh, the stage spike. Gonna take out Pug. A good delay on Maddie too, not letting Pug oh my come goodness. in and get hit. Finishing touch. Now it is four to three. Blue's favor. Oh, you need to make something happen now. I'm surprised there wasn't a wispus out of it. To be honest, the hitbox lasts long enough. Yeah, you know what? You put your you hit your partner a little bit, but he still lives. Like, I'm shocked that. Right, Grammar didn't kill him with that. Save. Up B into the hammer. Yeah, he went to the left hand side too, so you don't normally see people like spec that kind of DI. And he somehow still lived off of that. Blue team at both at 10% though, so this game is still up to the even if they can get rid of these now. They're Jumping right. into that up Green team's at kill percent. There's a bail. Yeah. It's true. Oh, the. Oh my oh, gosh. It actually, like, he tried to become a legend for about a second and good attempt to save. Oh, he is still alive. Even they're asking how he's still alive. Yeah, I have no idea. Like, he got that tech, got the counter. He definitely should have died off of that. I don't even know how Bayo's still alive right now. And there we go. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> Yo, good throw into his partner's up smash. Yeah, green team all of a sudden takes his lead right back. Now, right Gerber does have to be careful because he's at 123%, so they're probably going to be eyeing him. They need to eye Mars. They need to eye Mars so that right Grammar well, can't if, come back at zero. Well, if you force right Grammar out and you make Hug West have to sit at kill percent, then you can start double teaming more, uh, right Grammar. Like, you want to double team versus Bowser Jr. Oh, instead that, of Mars. That almost turned out scary if he just made that platform bet. Oh, he needs to kill him right now. Good attempt. Had that come out, they would not have been able to bring back Bowser. Yeah, I think what they were aiming for was what we were just talking about. Like, if, if he died, then it would have been a 2v1 of Bowser Jr. versus Team DLC. But because he made it back, or he was supposed to make it back, he was able to come back, and now they're in a 1v1 situation. Good 43% combo coming in. Justin playing some pass. Oh, that, that was an attempt to go for the roof. Yeah, I like the idea of Raichi went there. Uh, if he decided to get a little aggro and come back down, he had the up smash waiting for him. All right, now anything Bayo does, you got to pay extra attention to because you're probably getting thrown into a cloud combo. Good attempt. I had the roll read, but unfortunately pulled the trigger a little bit too late, and he's going to eat his stock for it. Oh, now it is grossly... Yeah, it's, it's not in anyone's favor to tip green. Just in player, let's see. I mean, They're looking for a footstool. They're just well, looking Maddie to G grab. One, uh, up throw away from being killed, but or a fork. Just just take the fork, stab him a little. That's all. So right grammar of Pug West up 2-0. Yeah, even in this back out, all of a sudden put themselves back in the race. And once again, Drizzen off to the side playing Marvel instead of at the stream setup. Boy. Give me that mouth. All right, so we're going to see what seems like possibly a, a third throwaway before the reset occurs. No. Just make it so we can see. Let me see. I just want to be able to see the chat. I can't see if anybody's talking. There we go. All right, so we're going to see the Kool-Aid Pac-Man coming back out. Chef Pac, the old days of uh, early days of Smash 4, rocking that Pac-Man. And once again, now Tristan has come back over after we take him out. It is 2-0 right G. <laughs> he had the natural move. And he is just gone. Yeah, right. Captain Falcon. Sorry, as we were having a little discussion with Tristan off stage. Uh, off stage. We were off, talking off to him off stage. Smash is love, Smash is life. It is real life. Hey, but. Captain Falcon getting deleted off there, and so far, Pug just not looking really phased by much of anything going on on screen. That bad hitbox, that should have been a stock. So far, oh. the start is looking all green to his favor. Uh, you know, Kool Aid's been trying to get some setups going for him, but he just hasn't really been able to get anything out of him. Good and once again, up B. Nice spot, Dodger, noticing. Luckily, went above the stage here, uh, almost forced into a tech situation. 
Right G doing a good job of staying alive once again. Only at a, he's at 153%. Never six mind. Stocks to, six stocks to. Oh my goodness. Six like, stocks to. I keep trying to empty the mic and they keep dying. Yep, that's the way it works. Like, if they try to compliment anybody, dead. Call out a stock out, dead. It's like if you ever want to speed it up, it's constantly mentioned. It's five to three. Right now, green team looking like they're going to be resetting this bracket, possibly. So, uh, blue team is kind of doing a little bit of a semi throwaway to maybe mess up the momentum when they switch to the, the road team coming up. Granted, Kool Aid's back man is something to, to blink an eye at, and Maddie G is also Maddie G. So, you never know, they might get some explosive follow ups and even this matchup right back up. Hit his partner, but his partner was invincible, so it didn't make it. Yeah, good, good mental awareness on PUBG. Like, oh, is that, that might be him. It, Oh, oh my oh. goodness! And, and it, the up B coming through in the clutch just hit right, uh, right Grammar still in this. And then he hits hurt. below the ledge. Yeah. It lasts so long too, like you neutral get up or anything, you're probably gonna get hit. Oh my goodness! Wow! What's going on? Hug somehow ended up on top after that whole situation and is still alive. Meanwhile, Blue Team trying to recover when they were there's an nothing guard. good going on. And he's still alive somehow. And he taunt Hug was taunts down smash. That so, whole offstage interaction was crazy. That whole offstage interaction should have led with Pug West somehow dying, yet he stayed alive with great text and good defense. So we have a bracket reset, and we're going to see probably the switch back to Cloud and Sheik. And right on cue. Oh, no. Nope, maybe like not. Cloud He's like, don't you tell me what to do. And this time we're going to see it in the hands of Kool Aid with the Sheik and. Matty with the the cloud, both of them going as serious as possible, playing the mains. Or we're gonna see double cloud, which is also still oh, very friendly. Man. This is a very bad situation had, for uh had nightmares Raiji. about this. Let's see. Yeah, this is a bad this is a very scary situation for Raiji because now the swords are locked. Yeah, you have you have Nair everywhere. Like try, trying to get anything going for you is very frightening. Like, okay, I can't He's doing a good job though, he's like he's just staying in their face. But the side have, B's coming out from both. This is really, it's, this is a playground a bit for Mark though, because now Hug can go try and give both the recovery. They're gonna be forced to have to get Lemon Burn as quick as possible. All right, one limit online, let's see. Yeah, they're doing a good job. It doesn't really seem like they have a solo focus on anybody. They're just kind of aiming for the 2v1 when they have it. One limit's online, there it goes. Just raw down B punish off of that uh, side nice. B. Down smash, not gonna take it. Heavyweight nope. still has a ridiculous floaty entry. Good mental awareness on him too, noticing he was going for that cross up. And relatively even across the board, other than the fact that Mark is off the stock. And oh wow, triple, triple down there. Such a good move, just keep throwing it on everybody. Four. Dunk, the dunk. Who they just jumped right behind Pug West and just kept charging? Yeah. Like, now nah, you ain't gonna do that. Goodness, everyone is just falling off and dying. Yeah, man. Nice. I think the Koopa might have kept them going there. Yeah, I think the Koopaling actually kept them some, uh, kept his ability to live up. That was a pretty straightforward left DI, and that was also his jump, and that's going to be it. And three team down, five to two. Get on three, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not going to help. Pug West definitely. Yeah, Pug West definitely didn't want that to happen. It is a reset, so you do have you still have the five games to play with, so if he can keep his composure, he can bring this back. But I just realized that uh, Kool Aid hasn't lost a stock yet. Yeah, no, Kool Aid has been playing immaculate on his defense for the most part so far. Oh my god, there's hey, his first stock, and he made sure to make it a message. You know what? If he can go for the suicidal stock, oh my god, Hadrian, and just like just that, double spikes is going to take out that first set. Calm oh, down. Don't calm down. Go harder. <laughs> yes. I want to see every stock get spiked. Yes, please, please behave. Please, please give them a chance. So, it was looking okay at the start, but unfortunately, you know, a couple of bad S uh, the SD and just some really good trades, but Kool Aid was just refusing to die. I don't know if Pug West just didn't realize that Kool Aid had a limit. Because there was no reason to up be the way he did, unless he was going to. And we're seeing a Sonic. We're seeing the switch with the Sheik and the Sonic, so Pug West deciding that he's going to go for, uh, try and get more room to cover. And now you have both these characters that could just be smothering you with speed and maybe give Sheik a little bit more trouble with the fact that they're going to be in her face a lot. But you still have Matty G rocking that, uh, the cloud and Limit on board. He's going to be able to get a lot of these kills way earlier than both of these guys. So Now this is what you thought was going to happen at the beginning. 
now it's made full circle to show that it might actually be taken seriously. I don't think I've ever actually seen uh, Pugs uh, Sonic before too, so this is a bit of a treat for people who haven't seen it before. Or maybe it could be free, you never know. They have two Spin Dash-like characters coming in, seeing what they can do. Yeah, this match is sizing the lore between uh, the three teams. They're doing a pretty good job. Like they, they've been winning. Blue team has been winning all the one v ones, and getting a combo extension off the last bit of that there is uh, cool. It their team mental awareness and doubles is ridiculous. Oh, had that limit been on sooner, that would have been a stock. I like that Kool-Aid was already waiting for uh, with the falling air to just stuff out. Uh, I have no idea. We tried to go for the. Uh, I think he was going for like a one to the dare to make it true, but I unfortunately didn't work out for him. He's gonna lose the stock. Right G can hold on this rage. Like, right G, it's imperative that right G stays alive as long as possible. That's, that could have been a stock. Cut him off at the limit, though. He definitely saw an attempt. Yeah, right G, sealing out that first stock. He, he has to play his stock take right now. He needs to be able to let Pug just kind of run around and get as much damage as possible. He just went for read and half with that forward spin. Good movement right there. Maddie G already waiting for him to go on the back end. Like, he's been, they haven't been really fooled by many of right G's cross ups throughout this set. And they, they do a like, really good job on the defense. But Pudge re looking relatively solid with the Sonic is doing a lot of damage right now. Right, he just sat there and took a 64% of the entire upstream. Trying I'm to get that sure fair all off to the side with that air dodge reef. Alright. Oh, they're in a very bad spot to sit there. The needles letting it rip, taking Pug West for a ride. Well, My goodness. Oh, that was a bad time to get hit. That was even worse. Very bad situation. What do you think Green Team needs to do to somehow bring this back? They need to run. They need to pay attention to Sheik. I don't know if they're just like trying to kill Cloud as early as possible, but Sheik has just been like laying groundwork. I agree. It's kind of similar to what they were doing before with the Mega Man and the Cloud. Yeah. But Sheik has just been there with needles and fairs to just stop most like, of what Green Team wants to you do. You almost forget Sheik's playing in this game because of the way they've been directing their aggression, and it gets them into trouble because Sheik will just ruin it for them. Yeah, Cloud, and, and then Sheik will just come in, just throw him in Cloud, and Cloud finishes off the aggression. Yeah. So he's both a point, oh my, look, right there. Just he, like that, the game, and even then, like, he was able to get that straight hit, he still lived. He, 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 he threw out the needle to try, like, to after he did the LB, to give him another shot at an I LB. Guess. That's it, like, he, he waited until he had the last second of the LB so he could go for another one to try and fade in. Which so, is really smart. So right Hammer just needs to take out Cloud as quick as possible. And, or, no, he needs or she, either or. Probably yeah, right best G would be to take out Cloud so she stays at high percentage, or she will just choose to stay in and keep it a 1v1. Yeah, right G needs to play out of his mind right now. Like, he, he's doing a pretty good job on defense, but they haven't really gone for like any stock ceiling situations yet. Did he grab the Koopa grabs. Link? He oh. did. Oh, that, see, I think this, he's trying to footstool him with his Koopa Link. I'm not even going to lie. Now he's going to play it like he's playing 1v1. This is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep, yep, they're just they're foot slowing him repeatedly right now. But, I mean, if Raichi can make the pay for it, if he can seal out Sheik's stock, there we go. That was definitely an input but. error, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sealing out this, the yeah. first game they've won, Grand Finals, on the reset. Yeah, Matty G saying enough of this after he realized that he was going to try and go back to oh, that side. Oh, game two. Is it? Um, Didn't they win game one? They won game one. Did so they win game one? What game is this on the reset? Hey, guys, is this game three? Yeah, okay. they won the first one. Never mind, it is 0-2. Okay, yeah. Drizzin. Drizzin. It's 0-2. It's 0-2, our bad. We were wrong. That game felt like it went forever. It did. That was a very long game. I don't know if they're just playing the play now because they're like, all right, when we go hard, we lose. Wait, is that Brawler? That is a me Brawler now, from is that What? And that is a me Gunner. Coming in. Okay, so so we have two characters and two fake characters so coming into this. So possibly congratulations to Medi G and Kool Aid for winning Invasion Twenty Doubles. Uh, we'll be seeing you. <laughs> that, yeah, my oh, just seeing that animation. Like, who thought of this? You know, I mean, at this point, I'm rooting for two beats just because lols. I just want them to lose. Like, I just <laughs> want them to lose to some beats right now. Yo, back in the brawler was the poop. Oh my god, look at that! So, Four step fair into recap. Yo, the real meta is the fair repeatedly with with the gunner. Because that forward air is actually pretty dumb. That forward air can take you across the stage. Yeah, you can aerial momentum cancel that forward air all the way to like the other side. Kind of ridiculous. 
Who says Jigglypuff has the best air mobility? Me Gunner! As long as you're fairing, it's me Gunner. Oh my god. Ruin a paralyzer with the. Oh. Can we talk I about thought... the fact that. that right, geez. Okay, he's finally at 64. But he's been doing somehow just living a very long time. What is. What is. What is. Oh, what are you doing? Brawler, you're gone. What, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, you, don't have a rever uh, you don't have a horizontal recovery. <laughs> Alright, so go. Trying to go for a little bit of zoning on his own. Root team with a relatively strong lead right here. Oh my now, god, they're just trying to kill That's going to free fall. Oh no, luckily he was high enough with the hit. He was able to like, get back. The up smash. Killing zero suit. Right Kramer. If it's a bad character, he can play him. <laughs> right, right G amazing at the low tier garbage characters. I'm just kidding. I just realized right grammar also has a reflector. So like some of these options shout could be the, bad. Shout out to Protom, who happens to be a um a Oh my uh, god. Me Gunner I don't know if you just saw that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so me gunner forward smash into a fair coming out from Pug West and Pug gets a re-grab. And like it was a like whatever <laughs> just happened, I was like, yo, what? I'm sorry, I'm just so Fair's mesmerized by all of these fairs coming out from right grammar. Yo, just perfect shields, fairs. This is so intense. Getting okay, clipped by that forward air. Right, and Meat Gunner still living insane longer, and then he just and then, and then Brawler gets a little bit. Right, right, right G has just kind of been like the nuisance in the backside. My goodness. Hug coming in, keeping his partner safe, getting him on, like, getting him off the edge there. And Kool-Aid, uh, Maddie G refusing to just, die once again. My goodness, right, Cram. Trying to go for some fancy uh, Z-Drop. My there, goodness. down smash. Hey, dog. So, this is okay, so green team has the lead. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting you at thought double Dr. Mario was insane. I give you. You know what else is insane? Run up up the ash. Now it's an even game. I'm sorry, guys. You know, for, for, for the pain and suffering that you're dealing with with our Germans, uh, B Gunner. But for some reason, but it's, it's still pretty even, so hey, maybe they might He's be able to get one of these so games. Yo, dash tag. He's covering his partner, too. Playing V Gunner the most optimally he can. <laughs> Letting Hug just do whatever he wants because there's a shot interrupting whatever you're doing in the background. Oh my. He's holding it down. Hug trying to get a combo extension after that. Unfortunately, hitting his partner with the shot put there. But didn't cost his, his the stock. To, uh, if Kool Aid was ready for it, he'd get an off him off the side. Oh! Oh, Kool Aid. Okay, no. Benji's still living after that. Oh, you, like, tried to, and, and then parasols him to death. Catches him from being a little too aggressive, and just like that, right G's stocks go from being three to gone in a span of about 15 seconds. Looking at us like, what the hell, man? Oh. <laughs> now, if this was three, one, and two, two, this would be a chance because you could kill him off the side. I'm trying to go for a down B off the top. It's okay. You have your partner <laughs> taking. Now, all right, now all he has to do is just take out um, Betty G in this a 1v1 situation. I, oh, he was trying to go for drag down fair. No, you know he's what? like, yo, I'll bet you Kool-Aid can just win. Maddie G was just done. <laughs> yo, Pug needs to bring this back like no other. They basically say he can't do it. Pug is the people's champ right now. Maddie G was so afraid of the me, the me brawler that he decided to just the SD. He's like, screw it. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> he, he looked at him crossways. And hey, that's a hard punish. It, it, oh my god, that shot put. Yeah, Pug, Pug West, bring, it, just bring this right back to even. Looking like he's about to take out Kool Aid Zero Suit Samus here. And. Oh. No, no, he's not he's not dead because Kool Aid decided to go for a side B instead. Trying to go for. Oh my Soaring god. Soaring axe kick, keeping him in the game. That, hey, that up B can actually spike people, so if he actually if he caught him with the two frame or decided to jump off, he might have lost his stock. He is fair spacing quite well. You know, all, shot put to the paralyzer. Of all characters that Pug could have to play against right now too, it's Zero Suit. Yeah. That just occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> like Pug just knows like what, what might be coming. Oh my god, Nair. Shot put. Goes for the side beat up on the save and Footstool is killed, and that was Invasion 20's doubles. You know what? The and only way to end it out is with the fanciest possible way. Gets the footstool in the downer. <laughs> so, congratulations to 
congratulations to Maddie G in Kool Aid for winning Invasion Doubles, rocking double Dr. Mario throughout the entire tournament. No, <laughs> uh, very solid like stuff. I very good stuff. Also to the fact that Ray Grammer and Pug West have never teamed before, and they were able to take out quite a few people, including yeah. Light and Don.